Um, hey you guys, so I'm coming to you from my bed, as you can clearly tell, uh, having, being on voluntary quarantine has definitely affected my schedule, as I'm assuming it probably affects almost everybody's schedule, because when you're not forced to wake up, then you don't, so then you start having weird sleeping hours. Um... Yeah, I just decided to make like a little update blog, rambly video. Um, I'm still working on getting an email so people can contact me. Uh, I tried setting it up, but they keep asking for telephone verification. And when I give them my Saudi phone number, then I never seem to get the verification code. So I'm having some problems with it, but I'm hoping to... Um, get that because I am interested in hearing other people's quarantine stories and being able to get more feedback from you guys um, overall what is there to say at this point I mean everything's a complete bleep hole at this point um, I honestly don't even know how I feel about this situation anymore. You know, when when this all first started, I was trying really hard to bring some reason back to people and, you know, and it's fairly, what's something I guess I'm going to do a little self-pity right now, something I guess I've, I, I myself value my integrity and my honesty so much. Like, I just find that's such an important aspect of who I am and what I, you know, if I'm not somebody who's popular, if I'm not somebody who's well-liked, if I'm not somebody who is overly attractive or overly talented or overly intellectual or whatever, the one thing I've always really prided myself in is I'm somebody that really has a lot of integrity and a lot of honesty and I'm not going to tell you guys something that I don't truly really feel or don't truly really think and I'm just so generally disappointed in how I feel how cowardly most people are you know they just absolutely refuse to say what is their truth because of their fear of social repercussions and that doesn't mean you necessarily have to agree with me, but, uh, you know, so three, four weeks ago when all of this really just started and I was ranting and raving, I was telling everybody, like, please consider the economy. Please consider the economy. Stop stop pretending that we care about people. You know, I, I find it, it's people are really... <laughs> There's, they just absolutely refuse to just admit that they don't care about other people. You know, you care about yourself, you care about your family, and you care about your friends. Um, but just how sanctimonious everybody has become about this, you know. And I've mentioned this in so many videos already yet, because people keep arguing for me. And then they're always stumped when I tell them, if you've always cared about people, why don't you care about... Uh, all the children around the world who have been dying of starvation every single year, you know, since the year of your own birth, you know, and people dying of drug abuse, people dying of rape, and, and I, like, I just, I, I just, I understand why, it, I don't understand why it takes so much courage to just admit, I don't care about those people, but now that it, there's a possibility that I might die or that somebody in my family might die, now I do care. And I, I would still say that I probably don't I don't agree with the actions that are being taken and now the repercussions that we're already feeling that they're going to have. But at least I can respect somebody who has enough integrity and honesty to say, yeah, it's not about other people. It's about the fact that I might get sick and I might die and my family, somebody in my family might die and my mother is more important to me than, you know, the thousands of children in Africa that might die. I personally might not agree with it and I personally would 
do think it's a selfish attitude, but at least I can respect somebody who has the integrity to stand by what they really believe. Um, so I'm just really burnt out. I think a lot of people are really burnt out at this at this at this point, and regardless of where you are, you know things have already gotten so out of hand. So many businesses have already faltered. You know, so many countries have already turned into these like military states. Um, I don't really see how we're just going to bounce back. It's to me, it's very frightening how many people I interact with who still have this belief that we're just gonna sit at home for a while. It's just, it's just a, it's just a little stay vacation and staycation. And then we're just going to come back and the economy is going to be amazing. And I just, you know, I, I'm, I'm very, I'm really scared for, you know, the lack of understanding people have of how the economy ties into general happiness and a general sustainability into general like people's sustainability of life you know i this this short term call of we care about people we have to save these people and nobody's thinking about the fact that yeah but if I, I don't know, i'm repeating myself on this channel so much about this cuz i just i'm just i'm just absolutely i'm just so shocked that people have so little understanding of the fact that we need the economy to function to keep suffering at bay we're gonna we're gonna we're doing so much for this small group of people who are predominantly older i know everybody loves to point out young people have died too yes i'm not saying there hasn't been any young people die but we we don't make policy we don't make arguments we don't make debates on outliers on you know we we look at generalities and that's how we base how to make the best policies and right now we are really creating all these policies that are not in the interest of the majority of the world and what is best for everybody and i keep warning people I'm like if we are thinking we're seeing a lot of suffering now oh, I'm I'm so frightened for the next upcoming year and the the amount of suffering that is just now starting because of governments and people's short-sightedness and their lack of understanding you know I we we have lived this luxury life now for such a long time most of us are not in a position to be, to survive without income without an economy we are not hunter gatherers we're not farmers anymore you know we live in a very interconnected market system where all of our needs come based off of paper money that for the most part doesn't even have actual any worth anymore because it's not connected to the gold standard anymore so if our banks start failing if our belief in the money system starts failing oh my gosh the repercussions it's going to have and i'm hoping and praying it doesn't get to that point because just from interacting with people on just trying to get them to understand basic economics, the idea of trying to get them to understand how any uh, inf um, uh, banking and I just had the word that infiltration, <laughs> inflation. Sorry, the way inflation and the banking system works. I mean, that's just that's just an impossible task. That you know, I just. It's it's just really frightening to me. Um, I've I've actually had a really rough week. Rough. <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm so like out of it. Um, I've had a pretty rough week. Um, you know, because 
just everybody in my own personal circle, you know, it, it's not, you know, hardly anybody is now only worried or affected by Corona now, regardless if you're somebody who's on the, you're very worried about the virus and you think this virus is something to worry about, or if you're on the economic side like myself, you know, people also have normal day-to-day -day problems um, and how those are also now becoming bigger issues because we're now in a failing social system where you can't meet with your friends and your family because you have to quarantine and you know so I was probably this is now like four or five days ago I had a really bad day uh, when we had like a meeting with my boss and the te and the other teachers um, and we were told that we were probably going to be quarantined for at least another three weeks if not to the end of May and it was such a surreal situation for me because I was looking around the room and most of the teachers they had this like they were just I don't, I don't want to go so far as to say that all of them were happy but most of them were kind of Actually, I'm going to say it. Like, most of them, you could tell they were just like, yeah, stay at home and get paid for it. Because the contract I'm on right now, it's, it's, a very, it's a very good contract, I have to admit. And we would get paid. But at the same time, I was just looking around the room and I just was like, you know, how many, how many employers do you guys know that will pay for you to sit at home? for weeks and weeks and weeks on end and just getting paid for it i mean we're teachers we're not we can't work from home and i'm not i mean like we are you know just like just the same way this is a voluntary quarantine you know because nobody wants to just admit that we're basically being made prisoners um and I was just, and to me, the first thing that came to mind is I was like, oh gosh, we're all going to get fired. We're all going to get fired. Like, what company is going to keep us around for nine weeks and pay us to do nothing? So, like I said, I'm more on the economy side, and I see, and I know that a lot, like already so many people have already lost their jobs. It's amazing. And I already know that so many more people are going to lose their jobs. And the suffering we're going into is just starting it's it's gonna be so bad i'm telling you guys already it's gonna be so bad and yeah i'm I, i'm doing anything to keep this job um so i was really upset and i was really worried and i first thing i did was when i got a chance i went to the hr department and thank god this is such a strong contract that i'm i'm safe to the end of the year but i've even taken on second online work already and um because i'm very fearful i'm very fearful like money's gonna be very tight and I, i'm and I'm trying really hard to not do all the things that are natural in these kind of situation, which is like you want to start saving all your money. You don't want to spend money because the market isn't safe, but that actually hurts the market more. And, you, you know, a lot of there's a lot of want to just go and take all of your money out of the bank because, you know, if the banks crash, then you might lose your money. But that's also part of the reason banks crash is because everybody does a rush on the bank and starts taking their money out. So I'm trying like to not do these things even though because I've studied and I've learned them and I know the repercussions of doing it. But at the same time, I can't help but also be human and be have human instincts and a part of me just wants to just, you know, in German, we have this word say like knauso and like hamso, like everything. It just like put everything in my room and be like, hey, hey, my precious, my precious. <laughs> um, oh God, it's gonna it's gonna turn so bad, you guys. It's gonna turn so bad, and you know it, it, it's you know people are just constantly trying to berate me and tell me that I'm heartless, that I don't care about like, and it's not. And I've, said this on this channel so many times it's not about me not caring about people dying i don't want people to die i don't want people to suffer and it's just amazing to me that people don't understand that all of these arguments i'm making 
are trying are in the attempt to to, pre to prevent more suffering in the future like you guys know like it's sorry i will say you guys like the people cannot even fathom the amount of problems and suffering that are going to occur in the near future if people don't wake up and stop pretending like this is just some short-term vacation you get to spend at home and oh god if i just have to hear one more person say oh no we have to worry about the people now the economy is just going to recoup like no the economy is not just going to recoup like that's not the way it works there's going to be so many issues um <laughs> and <laughs> for those of you guys sticking around i know i always have those long ranty babbly videos but it's <laughs> i actually do think a lot of times i have good content but i'm just not very good at bringing it across um something that i also like in my last video i said that i'm going to make one of the most leftist arguments i've ever made on my channel and that is how i incredibly racist and i still find this to be this really showing how racist society is and that nobody ever gave a shit about death until it started affecting white communities and white people and like oh now now oh people in europe are dying people in north america are dying now this is something to worse to cut to shut down the economy for you know if, if people anywhere else in the world die eh, who cares you know like nobody cares but i'm actually going to build on that now and i think before this corona thing became an issue, I was starting to make a lot of videos where I was talking about how I believe in capitalism and not in socialism. And... <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. It's actually not funny. But the thing is, all the people who are now um, debating me on this coronavirus are the same people that debated me on the idea of capitalism and socialism. And the funny thing is, <laughs> these people don't even realize that they are completely counter-arguing everything they said that they believe in. You know, they're just kind of like, oh, we care about socialism, and socialism is for the people, and we care about the what's, what's good for the community and the group, because that's the basis of, of socialism. The basis of socialism is that the majority and the community takes greater precedence and greater value than the the self capitalism is all about like i do what is best for me and by everybody be being egotistical that's what makes the system function by everyone saying like i look out what for my best interest so i do well because i get rewarded for it well my doing well by you know just happens to help somebody else that's great but that's not the point of why i do it well the thing is like but now all these people who just ranted and raved and talked to me about how socialism is so amazing they're now basically doing the opposite of what is a social argument you know they're all thinking for the self they're all thinking about i don't want to get sick and i don't want my mother to die or my uncle or my grandmother or something I like I, my security and my health and my family's health and like my small circle of friends is more important to me than the community of the world who is going to suffer due to an economic collapse. So I just find it really funny that all these people who just were like, oh, socialism, 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 the community, the people. And it's like, yeah, but right now you're doing everything that is the opposite of your supposed care of social and the community you know so i'm just like it's just such hypocrisy it's just such hypocrisy and i think again it just proves to me why i don't believe that socialism works look at this we are one month into this crisis and violence has gone up and domestic abuse has gone up and break-ins have gone up and um you know, if you see the way people act outside now, we were, oh, I didn't even tell you guys, like, one, two, three days ago, we were allowed to 
go out because they said that they were going to extend our quarantine so we were allowed to stock up on and I went outdoors and I was just like people have lost any every sense of civility or anything already I mean it was just pushing and shoving and everybody was just shopping like crazy they didn't care if there was any food left for anybody else as long as they had enough for themselves and I was like you know what we're one month into this crisis and already all social veneers and oh we care about other people has completely dropped away and we've already gone right back to our basic instinct which is me me and my family and my pe and the people I care about as long as they're good I everybody else can suck it you know so I'm just like tell me again tell me again how socialism works tell me again how you care about the vast majority of people in the community like go ahead go ahead try to try to convince me it's just all such I'm just so tired. I'm actually really tired. I just, like, I'm, I've really kind of <laughs> remembered why I found YouTube so tiring. And it's not even YouTube, but I think I just, I think the, the biggest punishment that I ever received in this life is that my, my father, more so my father for sure than my mother, my father raised myself and my sisters to value intelligence to value integrity and to value honesty more so than to value popularity and you know what is uh, what is seen as kindness you know what is and when you are somebody who does have these this value system i just find it's so it's so draining to have to interact with the amount of just fake and uneducated people that just they just may cry everything that they're being brainwashed to believe and they just they just say everything that they feel they have to say to look good and look and look a certain way in society's view because people just don't have the courage to be the bad guy anymore you know we live in a victimhood society now that's just you're not going to get me to not believe that we all want we all with the few the, the few ex exceptions we all want to be the victim. We all want to be the, oh, poor me and poor me. And have everybody be like, oh, oh you poor little thing. Oh, you poor little thing. Mm, your life is so hard. Nobody wants to come out and be the bad guy, which is actually the good guy, if, if people would be willing to go beyond these little triggers and overly sensitive things and actually see the big picture when that people are when people are actually trying to help in the long run and help the majority and help overall. <clears throat> I'm really, I don't know what's going to happen. I, 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 I think we are, this world is going to have such a major shift and you know, a lot of people now, there's, they still, it's like, even when I see on YouTube, there's so many people, they're still posting videos, and they're still trying to go on, as if, they're like, so while you're in quarantine, these are the 25 best makeup hacks, and, uh, and I'm just kind of, it is like, when I see these, like, videos pop up on my YouTube stream, I'm just kind of like, Lord, you're so clueless, you are so clueless as what is happening, and it, I'm just amazed at how disconnected the vast majority of people are from just the very basic understanding of economics like it's just I, 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 I it's we have, we have we're really it's really gonna turn bad <sighs> 